Now what we are going to do, we are going to write down the results and for the results we have a special table in your uh, manuals. So for example for the table 1 you are going to write down the tube number as 1, 2, 3, so these are the secret solutions. And then what happened after the addition of Benedict's solution, Bradford's solution and iodine. So, for example, here we have the addition of uh, iodine to the third tube, and you're going to write down uh, white brownish, for example, or whichever you can see here. For the second one, it's it's brown, but it is darker than in the third one. Finally, you can see that there are some sedimentations uh, of the black color in the first secret tube. So these sediments and black color tells you that the reaction happened here in the first one. The same goes for each of the other rows. So for example after we added the bread fort, uh, we need to wait 10 minutes. So for now we have another two minutes to wait and see if the reaction happened in any of these uh, secret solutions. Of course, because uh, this is your protocol, you can write down anything that you want. For example, here you can see the uh, written time for the addition of Benedict's solution. So it was 1647 when we added the solution and it was 1643 when we added the Bradford. Okay, now we can take the Bradford solution and see if there are any changes. So, for example, for the first solution you can see that it is slightly bluish. For the second solution it is darker uh, darker blue and for the last one again the solution did not does not have any much difference from the first one so if we look at the color of the Bradford solution we can see that the real difference is for example in the second tube. So the reaction with the Benedict solution, the Bradford solution, happened in the second one. Okay, so we have 10, ten minutes passed since we put it in the water bath. So now we should see the difference in the color or in the consistency. So for the first solution uh, there is no much stuff happened inside. So for the second one we can say that it's again darker than the first one but no much difference. And finally we have the third solution and the third solution actually shows the most drastical uh, changes and we can say that the third one had a reaction with the Benedict solution. Okay, now we go back to our bench with these results. Okay, now after we have performed all of the reactions, you need to write down um, the results of the reactions in each of the tubes with each of the reagents. So again, we have the breadfort here, like this. Then we have the Benedicts. And finally we have iodine. So now you need to make your conclusions on what reactions happened in what tubes
so that you can write them down. So on the video you might see these two tubes being identical, but it is not true. And if you look closer, if you look closer, you can see that it is actually dark but transparent, while this has black sediments and it is not homogeneous anymore. In the table 2 you are going to write what reaction happened in which of the tubes. Uh, you are going to say which test is used, what is the color change, so the reaction, and guess the organic substance in each of these tubes.